I have something new and fresh for you guys today. Have you heard of home care medical coding? Stay tuned to find out more. Hello you all, welcome back to my channel, All Things Quita. I am so, so happy to bring you this information today. And if you are a first timer here, after watching this video, I hope that you are here to stay. I was exposed to the home care medical coding industry by a supporter of my channel who DMs me on Instagram. Hey Lola, AKA Sassy Bear here on YouTube. I just love her YouTube name. She asked me my thoughts about home care medical coding. So Lola, this one is for you and for anyone else who wants to know about the home care medical coding industry. So let's get right into it. So what is a home care medical coder? So I need to break this down for the first timer here who is on this video who doesn't know what medical coding is quite just yet. A medical coder is an individual who translates medical charts into medical codes. Those codes are sent to the billing company in exchange for payment to the medical provider. Medical coders do not just code, but we also have to follow guidelines. We have rules that we must follow to remain compliant and to be an effective medical coder. There are many different types of medical coders out there. You have outpatient coders, you have inpatient coders, you have OBGYN coders, you have risk adjustment coders, you have, well, I think you get the point. A home care medical coder is just that, a medical coder, but in the home health care setting. So I have some notes here, so I may tend to look down from time to time so I can make sure that I'm giving you guys the correct information. So a company that certifies home care Medical Coders is BMSC, Board of Medical Specialty Coding and Compliance. And according to the website, which reads verbatim, BMSC is the credentialing arm of the Association of Home Care Coding and Compliance, AHCC, an education and training division of Division Health, LLC. Currently, BMSC offers four home health professional credentials and two certificate programs. So what four certifications do BMSC offers? The first certification that they offer is an HCSD, Home Care Coding Specialist. The D stands for Diagnosis. The second one is a HCSH, Home Care Coding Specialist. The H stands for Hospice. Third is an HCSO, Home Care Clinical Specialist. And the O stands for OASIS. The fourth one is the HCSC, Home Care Specialist and the C stands for compliance. In this video, we are only going to focus on the HCSD certification and the HCSH certification because those two are geared towards medical coding. What are the two certificate programs that BMSC offers? So when I checked their website, I was unable to locate the two certificate programs that they offer. And Lola also mentioned that she was enrolled in a course all new to you bundle. And when I checked their site, I was unable to find that program. So I gave them a call. I discovered that particular bundle is no longer offered and that the certificate programs as well is no longer offered. They did have a program called the BMSC Associate Program, but that has been discontinued. In its place, they recommend that you enroll in the ICD-10 Coding Basics ultimate training class for a basic understanding of ICD-10 coding for home health. These are the courses that they offer. So if you want to prepare for the HCSD exam, they recommend intermediate coding virtual seminar to help you prepare. If you decide to go with the HCSO exam, they recommend OASIS virtual seminar. If you are new to diagnosis coding for home health, they recommend the ICD-10 coding basics virtual seminar. And if you are an experienced coder, who is looking to gain more knowledge, then they recommend the ICD-10 Advanced Coding Virtual Seminar. There are no requirements to sit for their exams. If you are a newbie, they recommend that you take ICD-10 Basics Virtual Seminar, but I will let you know my thoughts about that a little later in this video. So what is an HCSD certification? 
So an HCSD review patient records and assign medical numeric codes for each diagnosis. They possess the ability to apply ICD-10 CM codes using conventions and guidelines as a guide. HCSD coders should be knowledgeable in medical terminology, anatomy, physiology, physiology, disease processes, pathophysiology, and pharmacology. What is an HCSH medical coder? An HCSH medical coder review patient records and assign medical numeric codes for each diagnosis using ICD-10 CM just like the HCSD credentialed coders do. They too should be knowledgeable in medical terminology and so on and so on. So how do you prepare for the HCSD certification exam? According to the BMSC coding handbook on page 12, BMSC offers keyword optional tools to prepare for the HCSD exam. These tools are not required and they are as follows. Study guide for HCSD certification, home health ICD-10 CM diagnosis, coding answer book current edition, annual home health coding and compliance summit, complete home health ICD-10 CM diagnosis coding manual, current version, and the decision health ultimate coding in OASIS training series. So how do you prepare for the HCSH certification? According to the BMSC coding handbook as well, on page 14, they also offer optional tools to prepare for that exam. The tools are not required and they are as follows. Study guide for HCSH certification, annual home health coding and compliance summit, and complete home health ICD-10 CM diagnosis, coding manual current version. So let's talk about the HCSD and the HCSH certifications. The HCSD exam is 80 multiple choice questions. The exam is administered via a computer-based testing center or paper-based testing. Paper-based testing is only administered at a BMSC pre-approved live event. The exam must be completed in three and a half hours. In my opinion, that sounds like a pretty good amount of time to answer 80 questions. There are no scheduled breaks during the exam. However, you are allowed breaks but the exam clock will continue to count down if you choose to take a break at all. Everything that I stated for the HCSD exam is the same for the HCSH exam, except for one thing, you are allowed 30 minutes less to complete the exam. So in a nutshell, the exam time frame for the HCSD certification is three and a half hours, and for the HCSH certification, three hours. So I found this interesting here. It does go on to say, if you are already working as a home care coder and you are a successful home care coder doing sufficient work on the job, then you should be prepared for the exam without the need for additional study according to their handbook. If you have more questions, definitely reach out to them directly and take a screenshot of the screen if you need to. So my final thoughts, Lola, when you introduce me to home care medical coding, I was worried that this was not a legit certification. I went to Google and typed in home health care medical coding and to my surprise, I seen employers seeking individuals with an HCSD and HCSH certification from BMSC. I've heard horror stories of people getting certifications that holds no weight in the medical coding industry. And when I say hold no weight, basically you've went and got a certification that's called, it's called one, two, three, four. You're looking for a job and you see the certifications that the employers are asking for and no one is asking for a one, two, three, four certification. It's really about what the employers want. We just learned that anyone can sit for their exams and we also know that the newbie beginner program that they had called BMSC Associate Program was discontinued. And in its place, they're offering an ICD-10 basics seminar. I don't know if that seminar is enough for a new coder. However, we did go over the optional tools that they suggested that you take for the HCSD and the HCSH certification exams. If you are a home care medical coder, please leave a comment in the comment section down below 
or if you prefer a more private conversation, please DM me on Instagram at all things Quita. I would like to know your opinion and your suggestion for anyone that is a newbie who is wanting to pursue home care medical coding as a profession. If you are already a medical coder, this seems like something that will make a great transition for someone who is looking to do something a little bit different. And it may be more simplified for you because they only code out of ICD-10-CM for home health care. I believe they have a specific book that they use. So if you are a home health coder, please reach out. So Lola, those are my thoughts until I'm able to make contact with a home care medical coder. And I know y'all might be saying, she said home care medical coder, and then she said home health medical coder. Those terms are like interchangeable. So that's the reason I'm saying home care medical coder or home health care medical coder. So every title point that you saw flash across your screen is listed in the description box below with web links to direct you to more information that you can read on your own time to jumpstart your research. So if you don't know where to start, I hope this eases your mind. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye y'all.